There. This seems to be me. This seems to be some guy. I think I might have played this guy at some point in the distant past, but I don't remember. I was playing um, Fight Cade the other day, and I was just I was just chilling. I haven't played Third Strike in a minute, so I was just like, okay, let's let's get some games in. Um, this guy had no rank, but I'd played every single like there were no S's or A's, and I played every single B and C in the room, so I just started challenging unranked people, and um, he played. So fucking nice. This was like the nicest player I've played in a long time. And I was just, ugh. I was just like, bruh. I played one match with Elena, and then it became apparent to me very quickly that I could probably scrape a game with Elena, but this guy would be kicking my ass if I wasn't playing main. And uh, I didn't even realize how um, right that would be. Bad confirm. Because not only is this guy a mad nice player, but he's, um... Ugh. Um... Also highly adaptive. He's smart. So I think it would have gotten worse rather than better in a longer set. Try to do background house. Background house is a real good button. One of Elena's, uh... Oh! Sad! If I did rod super it would have worked. If I tried to do low strong super thinking it would have the limb. That was a combo because I was crouching. He also had extra time to combo the drill kit because I was crouching. That probably wouldn't have worked on stand with his timing. Anyway, this Necro is probably uh, either the nicest or the second nicest Necro I've ever played. I got my ass handed to me by that Necro not so long ago. And that Necro, it's hard to say if he's a better player. I think he probably was. The thing is, he was doing things that were much easier, that were also more effective. And that sounds like it should be a better player on both counts. But this guy, what a fucking mash. Um, this guy, uh... Um did kind of harder things and clearly knew a lot about the matchup. I tried to do a BD there and I didn't have time, I think. I was still dashing. Light spin hook into parry, very common. But I did a delayed low. I've been in that scenario many times. Anyway, um, I did eventually... We I ended up getting quite a long set with this guy and this is post-narration. I wanted to kind of show off what happened. That's kind of weird to time. If you get the one parry on the like light like, electricity anti-air, uh, you have to not hit a button right away after doing the parry, or else you can't combo on the ground. Yeah, I'm here. I tried a couple times to block the first hit of um, drill kick and then get the second hit parry, and I think I like don't get it once. Lucky jump right there. He tried to low strong anti-air me, and it just didn't work. I was too close. Necro has a lot of different anti airs in this matchup. This guy pulls out a very interesting one that I've never actually seen a Necro do. He starts doing it more and more as the set goes on. It's a uh, jump back, like light drill. Or like jump up, light drill. So like as I'm landing, he's going up. And he parries on the way up too, although I rarely saw that because the timing of his jump meant I rarely hit him. Kind of awkward. Very awkward. I'm going for a little bit of shenanigans, but I do clean up my act as I go. But he cleans up his act as he goes. So this starts as kind of like a messy set, but it turns into like, I don't know, we're, we both kind of start playing out of our minds as it goes on. This is a mad good player. This is a bad matchup, for what it's worth. Uh, Oro beats Necro. I thought it was, well, I think it's probably a 6.5, 3.5. I used to think it was a 7.3, and I started playing more Necro, so you could kind of do the neutral better. And now I think the Necro and the Neutral is actually okay. It's just Oro's damage output as as in general. Um, Oro's damage output is really good. Necro does have an escape for unblockables. I went for the um, two bar, or I mean the EX semi unblockable a couple times now. Really bad by me. Even if I parried that, I actually didn't have a punish on him, for what it's worth. Um, I haven't actually watched that much SF6 footage, and one of the reasons I haven't really been watching it is. Um, I need someone who's not a YouTuber to put some shit out so that I can analyze it. Okay. Oh, I do the push version with Light Super. I like never do that with Necro. I forgot I did that right at the beginning. It's like a red parry attempt, maybe. I don't know why I did this. I think an uppercut might have just killed him. That's a real cross-up. 
Anyway, uh, if someone like Max just puts up like two hours of, of SF6 footage, I can't like just take it and watch it and put it on YouTube, you know what I mean? I need like Capcom to put up a lot of footage, and I think they do. Or I think they have just recently, but I haven't actually scoped it out. I need just like match footage to look at. That was a. I had a longer combo than that. Eh, no, what I did was fine. That was a uh, empty cancel uh, electricity. I that I've always seen Necro players do that, but this is the first time. One of the first times I've really had a Necro do that to me a lot. Um, the oh, I went for that. I had uppercut into super there. It was I could have gotten a Crota setup off of it. He did the um. Wick up, wick up uh, overhead, which is frame one airborne. Oh. That does work, but it often trades, and he couldn't trade. Oh yeah. Um. Well, maybe not for the returning SF6 characters. Well, probably yes. But my next Omega video I want to make was Ibuki, and I was going to ask you about that spab. I was going to have you write the entire video for me, psych. But I was going to script it and then run it by you in case I missed some stuff. Because, like, there's going to be, like, random fucking just pokes and shit that I'm just not going to know. Or not pokes, but, like, there's going to be random shit that's going to go into, um... Uh, I missed a uh, Toy Strong there. I think it works. I think you can you can definitely stand right now. So I think you can stand forward. If memory serves, um... Oops. Stand forward is actually, um... Slower than stand right now. from far away. Trade that's good for me. And now I've got him in the corner. I don't know why I did that, of all things. I like should have been recording this from the beginning. He's so good at that scenario. I, I should have what I just did there. I should have done a while ago. I mean, I should have like I don't know. I don't know why I said it like that. What I just did there, I should have kept doing. He has this really nice thing where he like is out of range and he walks in a bit to just outside my range and then he pauses, then he walks in again, and the walk in doubles as a parry if I do some kind of reversal thing or a like walk and throw if, he, if I don't do anything. It's su it's super simple and super obvious, but he gets a lot of mileage out of it. Anyway, like, something like Elena, I mean, not Elena, Ibuki, um, I'm having a really hard time organizing my thoughts. Something like Ibuki, like, stand right out to link out of it. Like, I didn't know that until you brought it up to me. Super jump cancel super. Again, I like, I think I did medium super that time, and I thought I would bounce once, but it bounced twice. Normally I do heavy super versus necro, but I was like, I'll do a, I'll do a setup where I bounce once. Look, his mileage out of the corner stuff is so fucking good. He keeps me in the corner, and he like reliably gets kind of like walking mix-ups on me. This guy's good at walking, and that's one of the hardest things to be good at in Street Fighter. Hi, oh, my close short didn't come out in time. It's incredible how fast he can kind of get some momentum going. He missed a juggle there, but that was a really good like thing to do and a good punish on me too. Uh, or is crouching for the recovery of that, which is... It messes some punishes up, but makes other punishes possible. That combo always works, I think. Back around, I was slow, short, super. Didn't really change anything. Ugh. He does a lot of, like, long commitment pokes that most Necros don't really do. Uh, something like stand forward, low fierce, stand fierce. They make him vulnerable to jump ins, so occasionally I just get like a wild fucking jump in that just kills him. Uh, that should have beat the drill, but I mistimed it. That was really bad by me. So that's something he pulls out a lot. I see a lot of Necro players pick a. Light up, I forgot, just worked there, I should have done it. Um, I see a lot of Necro players do. Um, uh, SA1 in this matchup. Look at that anti air, by the way. I mean, that. Well, yeah, anti air. See how he jumped back and then drilled me? I was like trying to think, as the set went on longer, I was like, what beats that? Do I like empty jump and then just close strong once I land next to him? Empty jump, parry, parry. The thing is, like, there aren't a lot of ways... That was pretty nice for me. <laughs> cool. Unfortunately, my juggle potential got used up. Look at that! What a good reply. Got him. Ah, I tried to be cute. I think one time I did the light fireball there, which I do specifically to um, uh, be safer on parry. 
But actually, uh, if Necro parries or is like Fireball, he can still stand strong punish. So Fireball is a lot safer on parry than um, pokes. Really cool, really cool punish. Light DP like reliably beats drills for Oro. The worst it'll trade. He had a super cancel there. He should have been mashing it. Whew. That was a combo, I think. No, I get that combo a few times in this matchup though. Good. See, a couple times, last round and then this round, I did EXDP that just didn't work at all because of the drill. Light DP would work in those scenarios, but Light DP carries its own risks, mainly that it's not very good against just regular ordinary, ordinary medies. It's not invincible, it's just unthrowable. I think Aura's Light DP is just unthrowable in uh, SF5, right? I think both light and medium are invincible to air attack, something like that. I haven't thought about that in a minute. Have you used invincible to uh, hits from frame 3 or something? EX is invincible to everything frame 1, that sounds right. Ooh. I think um, both light and medium are invincible to anti-airs in SO5, but um, only light is unthrowable. So if you're trying to beat something that has a throw component, such as a demon flip or a Kemi's little, what do you call that? Ooh, he fell out. Kami's little um, hooligan. Uh, light will beat all, all follow-ups, but uh, medium can get grabbed. I've had that happen before. It's a bit goofy. I was not uh, dashed too late, so I couldn't get the medium kick punish. I'm 100% sure that Marisa will be a um, grappler. I have red parry there, but it's kind of scary because there's always a possibility that Necro can get parried and then super. There's Light DP. Light DP is really good against that kind of thing. And then I did the dash tree, which works on Necro. And then I actually did the light super, but I couldn't fucking get it. See, red parry. I thought about it. The thing is, I was thinking about it for most of this set, but every time I thought about red parry, nice pickup. Every time I thought about red parry, um,. I'd already blocked the second hit, you know what I mean? It was like too slow. I know that's viable there. It's a very good thing to do. Because it's low risk, high reward. Red parry. It's not It's not super low risk. Here I just swapped to SA3 just to get some... My SA2 stuff is sloppy and he knows the frame 1 wake up. So I was just like, let's see if we can get some mileage out of this. I think I could have done the zoning more than I did because he wasn't super good about the anti-zoning stuff. Or not anti-zoning, but like, like in the neutral, I would get more damage than I would take. Just would like pokes and whatnot. But I was just insistent on trying to get like mix-ups. Trying to dash in or approach. But like I don't have to be approaching in this round. See the life lead I had and no longer no longer have. Got him. What if Ed's the Balrog function? Ed's such a unique gameplay style that I can't imagine they're going to change him. I mean, they might change like the way he works just because he's still relatively new. They can just add special moves to him or change the way they work. But I think they're not going to change his like input type. Ugh, I reacted so late. That does punish Universal Overhead, and you can do it on reaction, but my reaction was nowhere near fast enough. He was also too far away. I think um, Flicker is one of the best moves in the whole game. I think the rest of it is not super great. The low strong plus three on block or whatever it is is pretty nice. But like, holy shit, Flicker is so good in the current state of the game. Have you guys noticed this Necro's kind of owning me right now? PS2? I mean, it's alright. It's good versus... It's one of the best answers to Fireballs, but... I don't know how... Oh, what a punish. Look at my dizzy bar. Look at this. It's so hard. Look, it doubled as a parry. He did the walk, pause, walk. The first time it was just a throw reset, and the second time it was a fucking parry. And it's a scary throw to tech, too. Very smart. It's so simple, but I'd, I was thinking of, like, what do I even have as counterplay to that? Like, low short as he gets close into EXDP. I don't even think low short combos into heavy DP, although I can't remember the last time I did that. 
Uh, I had some roundhouse to combo there. I didn't have anything else. Kind of a bad... Uh, Red Parry was super clutch there. Well, what would have been I mean if I did it? Oh, that dizzy bar. Whew. Check out. Rare footage. How often do you see a round where you get dizzied and then you still win? There was, I think there was an achievement for that in, um, in online edition. That like basically only happens in uh, dungeon review matches. Anyone else will like kill you by the time they dizzy you, or like the dizzy plus the follow up will be enough to kill you. That beat my low forward, and he makes good on um, using on punishing uh, stomp out of the corner. So I start mixing it up between like light stomp and heavy stomp, but he's actually very reliable at catching either one. I probably had something there, but I don't know what. That four wins is making me a bit nervous. Red Perry would have just won on the spot. Overhead's kind of scary. But I got the clutch. Staying strong. But you can call it clutch. I would say Balog and Ed VS2 are two of the best Fire Balancers in the whole game. In terms of being free and also being very effective. And amusingly, I think Dudley vs. I mean, Dudley's ducking was one of the best fire balancers in SO4. So, um, it's kind of funny that the boxers are just good against fireballs. Oh, uh, it was a really bad back fierce, but I did a really bad punish. I thought I had it in time. Oh, no, well, yes. I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, VS1. That's one of the best fire balancers. I don't do that almost ever. I went for the touch of Dizzy, and I actually do get it. Kind of cool. That's my favorite juggle. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Goo. I got snatched. That's a hard knockdown. There you go. Light. Uh, light. I forgot to beat the drill. He still has Yoga Tower, right? Or does he? I don't even know. You've always got drill and shit. Slide. Very nice pickup by me, if I don't if I do say so. Very, very choke artist of me. Absolute choke artistry, start to finish. So I got a few stone hits on the last one. And uh, because I got few stone hits, I didn't have time for a close strong right at the end. I can't even tell that's a good trade. Uh, close forward came out, but it was too far. That very rarely happens. Only right after a jump in from like mid range. Very goofy situation. That dizzy bar's looking real clean. He starts getting really good at that. He starts throwing me as I dash in. It's like, bro, this is like borderline fucking computer level throw teching. Good at it. Ugh, one hit. There's a car throw by me. I didn't have to car throw, I just did. Just trying to play it safe. Be lame. You win. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of Sim struck me as quite good in Omega. The improved dash is kind of novel. Nice. I don't remember much else. I remember I really liked the um, the half circle forward. What's it? Half circle forward punch. What are the new special moves? Very very sloppy juggle by me, but I did it nice and early to reliably have all those stones hit it right at the end. I lost some damage though. See the jump back. Th the jump back. Um. Uh. Stomp. <laughs> I did a regular jump out of the corner. Red parry one on the spot, but I'm not trying to take any risks. Uh, I high parried it. I don't think you have to low parry it. I missed the parry. Ugh.
I had uh, probably close forward to activate there. Very unusual thing I rarely do. I did it just a little minute ago, though. I didn't know about that till I saw an Oro do it, and it's so obvious I was mad at myself that I never did it. Close forward is also JP1, or it adds one to the JP count, rather. Just like Crutch Fierce does. But the difference is that uh, uh, close forward leaves you... It's much easier to get the cancel. Ugh. Sometimes that trades. Good trade for me. I got light DP. Oh yeah, it's plus three, right? And he gets like down short into or down back short into into nothing, into his new EX move. It might be low parry only. I thought it was low or high, but I'm really not sure. Light uppercut would have been really nice there, but I wouldn't have been able to react. I don't think. Light uppercut might have been possible there, but I didn't do it. Anyway, I got reset into the electric snake, and if I just low parried on landing, I might have been able to get close forward. But I high parried on landing, I got hit, so I'm an idiot. I think typically I go for the low parry, but I didn't know if it was like low block only or low parry only or whatever. Instinctively, I just block it low. That was kind of cool. I da back dash and he didn't um, didn't take a throw. Being a bit more cautious about that now. Close strong can beat the drill, but it didn't there. Uh. I think there's going to be a whole, like, patch of, um, Dive Strike characters. Can't find anything this round. I'm getting smushed. See, I can, like, super here, but it's very committal. He did the OS Prairie block. For what it's worth, Ibuki's been in every Street Fighter game since her debut. SF3, SF4, SF Cross Tech, and SF5. I wonder if they consider her a new staple. Same with Jury. Ooh. Back short. Probably going for the TC. We'll never know because I mashed on parry like a fiend. I think I didn't have charge here. Oh, I did have charge, but I just fucking did a light fireball for reasons unknown to anyone. I parry one on the spot. Didn't do it though. See, when I get rounds like this, it's just like I have to just find a, just a poke. I have to not commit to anything. Find some errant hit. It's quite difficult to parry a poke in neutral. Well, it depends on when it's timed. If he can, like, parry after something. That was so late, there was no way it was ever going to be a punish in a million years. Ooh, the double back fierce to keep me in the corner. Super nice. There it was. I did low short into a heavy uppercut, and it actually didn't... Um, didn't combo. Parry on my wake up. Oops. Looking kind of ugly for yours truly. So this guy's actually got like a nice lead on and wins on me now. 7 to 5 in his favor. It was like around here where I was like, damn, I should have been streaming this from the start because this guy's mad good. Gah. He does a uh, he does like reliable like back fierce or one hit electricity and I start getting I start doing one hit or one 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 parry jump ins and it he doesn't really like stop me from doing that at any point. He could just do like an anti air heavy electricity and mash it or whatever. Down parry the drills. I mean I know you can, but is there some reason you should? That was kind of cool that combo because it was after a low parry. Uh, after a low parry, almost always the opponent's going to be crouching, so he did a combo that works on crouch. Throw versus Stomp was a mix-up there, and he couldn't anti-air both. Roundhouse just punishes this. I missed it. you got to be pretty precise. I wanted a uh, far universal red to see if he would commit to something, but he didn't. I probably could have just thrown him. Good trade for me, kind of. That was really bad. That back fierce was bad by him. Let's you punish. That was the punish situation different. I'll do it next time I uh, fight a Necro. I thought it would be harder to get. I do cash out here. Amusingly, I go for the uh, jab combo because it lets me get some meter at the end of the round. If I just killed him during stones, I would have no meter right now. 
But look, I've got like a little bit big brain. Meter optimized Beth. I say three is kind of nice because you can get like a non optimal hit and still get a nice conversion. Like two hit staying strong in a non confirmed state. Or, uh, you know, something in the corner. But this is pretty dire as you can see. Like, how do you win this? Look at my fucking dizzy bar. Very nice. I think that might have been alright for him, honestly. Given that relative HPs. That throw, I don't think it was a punish, but it might have been. None of that was a combo. What's funny is I went for like two jump in one hit parries, and then if I went for another one right at the end there, I would have won if I parried that. Well, I could have won. It would have been a, a guaranteed win would have been possible. Whether I would have actually gotten parry back fierce into full jumping combo is an entirely different question, seeing as I've been dropping that a lot. Necro's extended limbs are very possible to beat, as you'd probably anticipate. Once again, I went for uh, jump and stop in neutral, and he just anti airs me. He's going for anti air in a way that's kind of risky. Beauty. No, I'm dead. I think around this point, I stopped mashing the dizzies. I'm just like, oh, this guy's got it. Stop would have worked there, I think. Can't believe that just worked. Uh, he just did wake up low short. I think I went for light DP there and just didn't get it. It probably would have worked. It depends. I think it would have just beat the start up of his um, little juggle. I think it would have just beat the start up of his uh, uh, spin hook. He's got three wins in a row right now, so I'm like, you know, terrified. <laughs> I parried and he attacked so late. I did empty jump to stand short and it fucking he threw me. So look at that anti air, isn't that cool? It didn't work that time. I actually had like ugh, I had uh activate. I don't know what happened there. I went for a touch of dizzy, but I missed the first hit. I got the stones only, so I got a heavily scaled combo instead of a high dizzy combo. I was kinda too far from the corner for it to reliably work anyway. Cool. See him attack uh, parry on the way out. Cool. Probably went for high parry there, I imagine. I said it delayed low. He could have uh, parried it, got low short super or something like that, I don't know. I could have got fucked up for that. But I didn't. Ugh, I had a full jump in there. It's scary to light DP on wake up because you never know what he's gonna fucking do. Wake wake up throw actually worked. I think near the end I start doing just low forward like meaties and they actually like have pretty good success rate. See that double that EX fireball to stair house? The stair house whiffs, but he doesn't have the time to push a button and have um and beat it. My stair house will beat what he does, and he doesn't have time to whiff punish it. Maybe with super. There we go. Uh nice block by him. Uh, but because it whiffs, it's unparryable. It's kind of a cool little situation. Shoto's can do the same thing with their EX Fireball. Or they're probably any character with an EX Fireball. Look at that! Bullshit! I got the parry, but my jump arc was wrong. Necro. Well, you'd write it in Katakana, not Hiragana. So, no. But, yeah, that's the right letters. Good trade for him and cool uh, conversion. Fierce is before I could mash. You only get one of the three hits when it trades like that. So the dizzy is quite a bit lower, but I was very close to being stunned. Back to Booger. I'm feeling a little bit more um, in practice, I guess. Booger has a lot of ways it can work, no matter what. That was a combo, and actually the ideal conversion there was Oro's TC. I got a crouching opponent, I think, but it was a high connect jump medium kick. So I don't think I could get as close strong or anything there. So that's like the rare scenario where Oro's TC is actually good. Kind of a novel.
I was looking for Dizzy here, but now I'm just in a position where I'm either going to kill him or die. Look at the low berries! Nekuro. That's uh, black. Takuro. I recognize that one. That's a kanji I know. Oh, I went for the TC there, and I just dropped it. Oh, uh, Light DP would have worked there. I think I went for it, and I just got a jump. There we go. That's a nice reply. I think you can just block that, honestly. I don't think I have time to really get the cross up. Ooh, Light DP would have been so clean, but I did fucking EX. Dead. Ah, that jump, that down fierce was so bad. I had a jumping combo there. Punish, maybe? Oh, what a jump. Run house for the dizzy, and then that. What's funny is I had um, the three bar super to kill there, and instead I did the. Um, that was kind of sloppy by me, but we're okay. Look at that. That didn't consume any meter. I had three bar to super to kill him. I had three bars, and he was dead to a three bar super. Plus follow up. But I did uh, an unblockable instead, so that was very bad by me. That was one of the scenarios where a three bar super is better than one bar. People always talk about the sun like it's shitty, but it's just it's just more specific to use. The Yagyo Odama. I'm doing a lot of jump in like neutral, neutral jump. <laughs> he hasn't really punished it in a good way. Or around. Hi, I'm doing alright. He went for parry both times, I think. High parry, and I just poked him twice with lows. That was a punish, I think. I That was a mistake. I got negative edge. I was going for a close forward super, which I think was close enough in the corner to work. That works from farther out than um, uh, low fear super, because close forward has uh, forward movement in the cancel. I can't believe that was still a punish. Could have been worse. Could have died. That's a combo. Yeah, you got no super, baby. What are you going to do now? That uh, third fireball I threw right there, I tried to super cancel it and I just missed it. The regular fireball. I wanted another booger on the screen. But that was like a death zone. His best hope there was doing a super jump. And then just going for some kind of drill. But I had an easy anti-air if he did that. So his best hope was doing a super jump with no drill. Which is like, there's just a very high possibility I'm just going to be able to meet him mid-air or anti-air him and just get like something. That was an instant air uh, stomp that I fucked up. I usually don't fuck those up anymore. I fucked up that one. Ugh, I got a fireball. Look at the anti-air! That's so cool! That was greedy of me. And his punishes are on point. You can actually walk to get that stomp to whiff. I think. And then just back forward punish it. Most characters can do that. I doubt Necro can't. But what he does isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. I did a uh, just close strong there instead of chicken combo. I probably shouldn't have, but I thought he was gonna um, uh, do frame one airborne. What's it? <laughs> the trade. Kind of not really good for either player. Look at that. That's a cool anti isn't it? He can't parry it because it's out of range, but it would have beaten any button he pushed. Ugh. Ugh. What a punish. It's so cool that he's doing that. He got the quick stand. And I did not have a combo there. I went for it like I did, but I didn't. It was just desperate by me. You can main 12. In third strike, being a better player is much more important than tier, even though the game is not very balanced, just because the skill ceiling is so high. 
I've gotten smushed by 12 players, even though 12 sucks and even though Aura beats him in the matchup. <laughs> yeah, this is a super good Necro. <laughs> Not a combo. Look how good he can throw me when I dash in. I get like dash in nonsense all the time on lots of players. I think I would go for that again here. Oh, that. I was mad. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I was mad at myself. I didn't even think about that as an option. I just wanted the dizzy. <laughs> I could feel his bro, what the fuck is this, on that pause. Look how dire this is. He threw me from so far out. What am I supposed to do here? I'm dead. I've already lost this round. I tried to just preempt him jumping because I thought he was going to jump. That was a... I, I wanted it to, to look like a meaty stomp. So I wanted him to either back fierce, stand jab, or jump. So I just did it like a jump in normal. The well, IDP will beat a poke, and it's kind of hard to whiff punish. It depends on the range. Like, he can whiff punish it maybe with stand forward, but most of his pokes are kind of too slow. Stand strong might work. But it's like, that's not too bad. That's not a super high risk if I just get punished with a poke. It could be worse. Yeah. Ah, I didn't want that. I wanted stand forward, uh, spinning. I mean,. Yeah, human pillar driver. And now I'm dead. I called it human pillar driver. Is that even the name? It's Neo Ricky. I wanted Neo Ricky. Super jump cancel super. And then I just utterly choked everything. I missed the second crouch fierce and then I missed the super jump. It was just ugly. Just no one pay attention to that. Oof! Unfortunate. I jumped over him. I didn't think you jumped over from that range. I got a fireball there somehow. Tried to parry the cross up button. I like saw it crossed up, but my parry was way off. This is now very difficult to win. I think around this point, nice pickup. I think around this point I was like, I'm gonna play until he gets to 15. And he's already at 12. Eight to twelve right now. I'm the eight, so I better turn it on if you know what I mean. But he's had like three wins in a row, like three separate times in this set. That's a mix-up with jump and stomp, but my time, my jump was way too early, so it wasn't actually a mix-up. The back throw punish again. He just missed time that meaty. It would have worked. What a jump. I got lucky. Uh, I go for jump in air throw a couple times there. I forgot that doesn't work. It works on characters you can't jump over in the corner, but the air throw just whiffs on characters you can't jump over in the corner. I kept thinking I messed it up because he dropped the parry, but actually I just, it just doesn't work. That's pretty lucky for me. He tried to do low jab, empty cancel super, but uh, he got the cancel anyway, and I just jumped, and the jab never hit me. So I just got a free win. <laughs> he sniped. Couldn't get the pickup though. Super works here. He didn't go for it though, for whatever reason. Mystery. I shouldn't have done that. That was so delayed, and I missed the super jump again. I'm so bad. That's just not. Like... It's not what you want to see. All right, we got this though. No, we don't. We don't have this. I think close forward probably punished there. But I didn't get it. <laughs> I pushed the button too early. I don't know, because it could have come out as far forward, and that would have been catastrophic. Anyway, the hit grab worked, because he probably went for parry. He probably did super into parry on the first frame of recovery. And uh, just got snatched by the hit grab. Lucky. Gah. I'm still getting snatched, left and right. I just can't find the timing for that. Look at me, I'm playing like an idiot. I'm just trying to see what he can do to stop me from doing what I'm doing, and then he does that, and I just take an ass ton of damage, and then I just hold up forward trying to get out of the corner, and I die. And he gets a cool juggle. And now I feel like an idiot. Kind of an 
even trade, I guess. Jump short. Should have been jump right now. Uh, I didn't have a good thing to go for here. The thing I did wasn't bad by any stretch. Red Fairy would have been nice. Trade. And I get a conversion. I meant to super cancel on the last hit and I just missed it. I'm nervous. Ugh, my sweep. I think that happens a couple times. Got him. I didn't try to do anything. After like getting back strong repeatedly while trying to jump out of the corner, I just tried to play it safe and lame and wait. I was like, if I get thrown a few times, it's whatever. Cool conversion. Wake up parry, stand strong by me, of course. The aura special. Ouch. I tried to be cute. I'm dead. Now, as you can see, it's um, 9 to 13. Things are looking very dire for yours, truly. This guy has hit, like, every important number before I have. Oh, no, I think I would have beaten him in tournament. I think I, I hit 2 and 3 before he did. So I got that going for me. But he would have beat me in a first to 5 and a first to 10, so... He's like my far short. Jump around us, far short combo. There's no conversion from far short. I don't even remember if it cancels, but there's nothing to cancel into, so it doesn't matter. I tried to parry that. I had plenty of time to. It just I crossed up. <laughs> I parried the wrong way. I didn't think I was gonna. I didn't think I was gonna happen. Yeah, that's one of the big appeals of the game. I feel. Got him. Uh, super cancel there was quite good. I didn't get it. I'm a bucko. Cool anti anti air. I was thinking air throw would have been good there. Lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, really should have just supered, but whatever. Yeah, again he did parry. I think even if he did low parry there, that probably wouldn't have worked with my timing. I just waited patiently and did low short. Generally, low forward is just better than low short for aura. Longer hits done, more damage. Um, low short has less pushback, which is good if you're going into an uppercut. And um, it has it comes out very slightly faster, but the rate, the speed is very similar. You know, okay. What was I thinking there? What was I thinking? Why didn't I just do something normal? I was like, he's close enough to the corner, I can just push him to the corner and then jump over him, and then that all happened. And now I'm like, okay. Oh, baby. What about that? That's one for the history books right there. Nice bath moment. Completely stole it. I just waited patiently. I didn't know how many parries that is. I have no idea. I parried until he stopped. It's funny that he didn't mash that, because I only parried once. That wasn't huge balls, that was just I had no choice. Someone watching this in the future in the YouTube comments will count up the parries for me. Again, I did something dumb, but I still got the conversion. Shouldn't have jumped there, I should have just, like, ran him. I should have uppercutted, I guess. EX uppercut, would have been good. Sloppy by me. Wake up, delayed, staying short. Look at that! Aura Crouch is lower than other characters, so that combo works for more ranges, but it's... I don't think it works point blank. It might. Some characters get that point blank. Combo! Got the combo! That's actually optimal there. If you're not... Oh, I got it again, baby! If you're not close enough to get close forward, just comboing into staying roundhouse is actually the best you can do. I hit him with the sun again. Rare instance of the sun being optimal. I, what's funny is I had the meter to kill him with the sun on the round where I got all the parries. Um, because I got all the parries. 
Like, I went from, like, one meter to two meters just parrying that electricity over and over. And then when I got my chicken combo, I hit three. Ugh. Know my thoughts. I have no thoughts. Jump back. That was a cool uh, air normal. Ugh, how do I parry that? Lucky. There, I did it. Look, behold. That might have been a punish. He got the mid-air hit and then committed to something with long recovery. Uh, I'm watching. I played this last night. But this is me playing. Just last night me. 3 a.m. me. No, it's 3 p.m. 12 hours. I looked up this guy on... Um, he didn't have a rank, so I looked him up on the little... Um, the fight cade thing. And he has like 580 hours in this game. For comparison, I have like 180. Of course, I've got like untold hours from before fight cade. But it's just kind of funny that like ever since... Like I've played 180 total hours on fight cade, which is really not much at all. This guy probably has untold hours too. The way he plays, he's super good. Uh, double super here is actually optimal, but... Um, my setup is a bit sloppy. Fortunately, his parry direction probably got a little bit fucked. I had a setup where I had close strong into far strong. I mean, close strong second hit into close strong first hit. I don't know why I said close strong into far strong. Uh, and then I had JP4 into super, and there was no way to get JP5 into super from that setup. So what I did was um, uh, double super so that I would have a meaty four hit super in addition to my meaty... Um, Got him. In addition to my meaty two hit, or one, I didn't know whether I'd have one or two hits left over from the first super, but I'd have four from the second super. Aura has double super setups that are super reliable for unblockables, but you rarely see them because they're expensive. But you can do them in a lot of scenarios. Aura's double super stuff is some of the least explored. Ugh. Nice. He recognized that I was a throw from being dizzy. Ah, I missed close forward, and look at the punish I eat. That dizzy bar is worse than the damage, naturally. I always high parry there. Cool little juggle. For those who don't know, when you get dizzy, um, you can't get air reset anymore, so things that normally air reset suddenly juggle. So you get unique juggles on dizzy opponents when they're airborne. I want to see 12 with Excel. Cool juggle. I often see Necro players do uh, Roundhouse there, but he did Fierce. I wonder if there's any meaningful difference. My delay was super wide. I had no, uh, I don't know why the fuck, actually, I should've, I think I, no, why the fuck did I do the combo I did? Nice little shimmy by me. He's got 14 wins, so I'm fighting for my life at this point. He doesn't even know I fucking, I'm going for a number. We haven't said a word to each other yet. It's just, oh, I got that little parry, but I didn't even react to the fact that it was that. His throws are on point. I could attack that throw. I tried to parry and I fucked it up! Ooh. <laughs> Parry into the close strong. Caught a spinning hook somehow. Very winnable round. The meter is not super precious to try and keep. I might have had close strong two hits into super at the end of that. I didn't count. No, I think I hit him with two hits of super and then close strong second hit, which is six. So another one would have been impossible. I think it's often a, a blue parry for the second hit of drill. So I often go for that. I'll block like the first hit of drill and then parry the second hit. I don't get it. Lucky. Very lucky. That was an accident. I got uh, the cross through there. 
Ugh, ugly run house. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Very fucking lucky. Alright, Bath. It's never had worked, thank god. I had nothing there. I wanted to whiff punish the neutral the back fierce, but it didn't work at all. Bad uh, jump by him and optimal conversion by me. Ugh. I got close. I got close forward with punish. That was so weird. Or as close forward doesn't normally activate like that. On a limb. Uh, uppercut there because I didn't have a bar. It also dizzied, so it was just optimal on two fronts. If he got, if he did the air reset thing there, I don't know what the fuck I would have done. I would have died. If he did the wake up, oh combos, wake up uh, overhead. Tried to jump. Cool. Actually ruined my combo though. What I juggled with there didn't matter at all. Two supers? You mean two ultras? The only character with two supers in SF4 was, um, Gen. Oh, and Dan, I guess. Oh, that. Having two different supers, like having super and ultra is both like the same function, but with different meters. For what it's worth, in practice, almost all the time, Ultra and Super had different functions. For Grapplers, Super and Ultra 1 were very similar. They were probably the worst example of just complete overlap. But generally speaking, um, there actually wasn't much overlap between Super and Ultra, mainly because the setups were completely different. By the way, I told this guy last, before this round, because this is 14 to 14, and then I told him he had a super good Necro. And he told me I had a super good aura, and our dicks touched across the world. Soku, I never even saw footage of it. It's the melt, the, the Toho one, right? I know a little bit about immaterial missing power. I know nothing about Soku. Red Perry, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Ah, one hit only. Ah, fuck. I thought I would cross him up there and I wanted to cross up into Incineroar Stomp and I got fucking... I jumped the wrong way because I didn't cross him up. Ow. That would have killed me, I think, with the Dizzy. I managed to scrape out the win, though. Uh, and then he... You know, I left. Did manage to hit 15 first by some miracle, but he was winning for most of that. He was a really strong player.